Imagine a game about a robot that is invited to a robot party to party all night. But to do so, he first needs to get there. And yes, this is a multiplayer game, so your friends are invited. This is how I imagine the game I want to make, because I have always liked multiplayer games and I always wanted to make one. So I started development and god, it wasn't easy to do. I had no experience in making multiplayer games before, so I didn't know what to expect. Multiplayer games are just made differently, it takes time to understand how replication works, but then it becomes easier. So, I have been working on the game for a month and I want to share what have I done so far. So, cool movement and jumps animations, nicknames about play heads, personalization with possibility to change your robot color, because humans love to show each other how unique they are. Boxes you can push, boxes you can pick, boxes that you can throw at walls or your friend. Some lifts that works, some that don't. Some buttons that makes lifts work, even slacker ones. Parkour level when you jump and jump and jump and jump. First puzzle we need to guess missing piece, but since you can solve it with simple sorting, it doesn't really count as a good puzzle. Felt cute, might do it later. Spine rotating feature that allows your friends to see what you're looking at. Maybe it's too much of bending, but it looks really fun to me. And of course, making all this stuff work online without bugs. I hope. Please. So next thing I wanna do is another puzzle. And here are some rules that help me make a good puzzle. Those tips are pretty optional, but this is a good place to start from. 1. Make sure you can make a puzzle out of the mechanics you already have. In my case, it's movement, jumping and throwing items. It's not necessarily, but I don't want to make special mechanics for puzzle or two. I want to use what I already have in order to improve my game design skills. 2. Clear goal to achieve. When player got to the stage, you should quickly understand what is the main goal of doing all these weird movements and calculations. 3. Progress in puzzle solving should have good readability, in order to let the player know if he is moving in the right direction or not. Simply add some feedback about player's actions. They don't have to be straightforward, but they do need to give some clues about progress. 4. Make it fun. Come on. Nobody wants to solve a puzzle if the progress isn't fun. At physics, physics is fun. Maybe some environment changes, some screen shake, sound effects. You decide. Just make it fun. And 5. Try to add a ah, moment. The moment when player realizes how it works, cracks the puzzle and feels himself very small. And technically, he really is. It's like a cherry on top. This is probably the most enjoyable part of the puzzle, so try to include this in your design. So, do sum up. Use mechanics you have, give clear goal, give feedback during solving, make it fun, and ah moment. So, with that in mind, I figured out our next puzzle. They are two pools and two numbers with equality sign between. In those pools are some boxes of different colors that represent mathematical things like plus 4, plus 3, multiply by 2 or something. The point is to make the numbers equal by throwing boxes in certain pool. So let's make it alive. First, I made some blackout for next puzzle. I tried to make it place good from the player perspective, but I didn't want to spend too much time with the design. I will polish it later anyway, so I followed my main goal – to make good arena for new puzzle. With the blackout, I made the pools for boxes. Then I made the boxes. I have already done a parent class for items you can pick and throw, so I made a child that will be a new parent for mathematical boxes. Then I made an actor for pool. Simple collision that with begin and arrow up get the numbers from inside the box and do the math, then send the result to another actor, number on wall. 
Base part of puzzle is almost done. I also add an indicator that changes color depending on the equality of numbers. Then I add boxes that multiplies the whole number. I made some boxes of different colors and values. And when I prepared to start doing math for interesting design, I figured it out that you can just throw two ones to different pools. And that's it. Puzzle solved. So I need to fix it. I could make the number be unavailable if there is less than five boxes in the pool. So the player would add at least five boxes to pool and calculate. But this is a lot of work and I'm lazy as hell. So I rewrited values on boxes and deleted all identical boxes. I also want to make sure that 0 equals 0 is not an option. I once again could write more code to do so, but my laziness is a powerful source of creativity and I like to find a vacancy for it. So I made one box inside the pool unmovable. Now the player must figure out 1. What difference makes a certain box? Or what value does it contain? And 2. What is the combination to make numbers equal? Puzzle is ready. Not much else to do. I added some cosmetic wires that glow white when inactive and orange when active to demonstrate a way to open the door the same way that elevators work. The puzzle is ready. Now it's time to say goodbye. Making this video wasn't easy for me because it's the first video I made since Overwatch clips of me trying to, to get to the top 500. It's also the first video I do with voiceover. So if you like the video, please like and subscribe. It will increase chances for the next video to vlog to see the light. And about the game, I have plans to make it free on each IO forever for everyone and update from time to time. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next videos.